Incoming blizzard detected. Oh, we're just flying right into a blizzard. Oh, I love it. Pull up, pull up. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 44, where we're going to go connect with Artemis here at our local hollow terminus on another miasmatic planet. You know how much I enjoy these. Planet Goni Delta. I don't think we're going to stay on this planet long. But maybe we'll took a la take a look around once we make landfall. See what's available. Ooh, look at the mushrooms on this planet. Wow. 62 on the toxicity scale. Corrosive sleet storms. Look at these things. And these. Look at all this stuff. So this doesn't have the traditional look of the mushroom forest. There's absolutely a good bit of fungus here. What is that? Subterranean relic? Unknown building. Buried technology module. You know what? We're going to go check that out here in a little bit. Right after we make a connection with Artemis. Ooh. Right after we repair this damaged machinery, rather. <clears throat> Chromatic metal. Check. Toxic Protection Module S. What? Drastically improved survival time in toxic environments? Thank you. Boom. So now we're barely... Oh, 62 toxicity isn't even enough to hurt our toxic shield that is epic that is cool but now we have to use the next exosuit upgrade to increase our our technology panel so we can do that again oh that is great well now we can live on toxic worlds like it's nothing Now, if we find, like, an extreme toxic world, we can set up shop there and start earning some of those milestones for survival in, in extreme environments. Okay, so this is a planet with floating rocks as well, apparently. What is that? Silver. Deposits of silver all over. Copper. Copper. I guess it pays to look at the discovery page. Yep, there it is. Silver, ammonia, and copper. <clears throat> and how many... How much... Uh, 13 different species of fauna here. I don't see any. Let's go contact Artemis. And see what they have to say now that we've triangulated our position. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Our hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communications across long distances. I would like to activate, please. Signal match detected. Hello, Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. I'm ready. Artemis transmits a packet of data, a star chart showing the skies around their location. 
I only have the equipment I came here with, and it's done me no good so far. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So we'll need to go take an old-fashioned approach. We can use the sky to figure out where I am. If you visit a space station, you should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Fair enough. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. I don't know how to break the bad news to you, Artemis. It's not exactly a high priority for me to do this. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. Ooh. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. Get up the cliff. There we go. Ooh. It's just so steep and wet and muddy and fungal. Spongy. It's difficult to walk up this cliff. So I need to learn three new words, except I just spoke to everybody at the space station here. All the more reason for us not really to hang out here. I think we are going to travel back to our our system with our freighter and everything. Because I can't forget, we're still trying to build our base. Although we have officially taken a detour on that because we got the Viking and... I've just been looking for a frost planet because I want to put windows up in my base. I don't think that's unrealistic. Okay, so we are... So the only reason... Whoa. That looks a little different than some of the other ones I've seen. I'm not sure why or what the reason is. Alien artifacts. Very technology module. So it looks like our our toxic shield was only was only not diminishing because we were in the vicinity of the hollow terminal. It is in fact losing some of its protection but very very little. Okay, this is more like the the mushroom forest I expected to see on a planet like this. Are these? Oh, these are minerals. For having abundant fauna, not really seen any life forms here yet. Still, it's probably worth a scan. It's all nanites. There we go, more salvage technology. Ooh, wait. Pure ferrite as a secondary element. Okay. I'm good with that. Well, I used to not care about these damaged machineries, but now that I got an S-Class module, I'm going to be checking them constantly. The only thing is, I feel pretty certain I'm not going to get another S-Class module anytime soon. Even still, all it takes is one good um, discovery, and then you're going to want to do to check them out every time. Birds, no life forms. A lot of flora.
Ooh, the sunrise. Oh, look! There's like oceans here. Or lakes, at least. And look at the terrain with these floating... Man. Every planet just has like a... A feel to it, you know? Even when they're similar, slightly different. This one's all green and it has water and it's got some mushrooms, but they're more like polyps. Hmm. That's okay. I'm not hugely concerned about that. I think instead we're going to get back to our ship. Get back to our ship and look at heading back to our freighter. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mm. Might, have d might have shot for a little more than we should have. cave Oh No, oh, I can't pass these up. Not when we're right here. I can't resist. Cuz you get the vortex cubes and the tetra cobalt. And another one makes five. Look at that. All right, well, let's save and chart this unknown sector. And then I think we're gonna grab some more of this condensed carbon. And I really don't see a reason to be here. At, I mean, at this system. I don't... Let's... Let's get back to our freighter. Let's knock out this other thing. I don't want to talk to the Viking at our base yet. Because I really want to find an Arctic planet so we can start making glass and windows. How about if we just tag something else to get that technology module off our screen? Thanks. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll uh I'll bite. What kind of frigate is recruitable? Let's check it out on the fleet frequency. What do you got? Your fleet needs new friends, yes? Our starship would be a joyful, a joyful addition to your fleet. What do you have? A support specialist. Oh, it's good at everything. And it's a B class. Obedient, low crew turnover. Oh my gosh. And we're like a million short. That hurts. See, and then once you toggle off of it, you can't... Oh no, those are my, those are mine. Um, uh, we've just got to make more money. 
we can't be bothered with all this. We've just got to focus on making more money, and we're not there yet. We'll find more. In the meantime... Oh, we could just warp here. Out of jump range. Out of jump range. So we're going to have to jump twice. Well, let's head to this system. We'll get another exosuit upgrade, and with all those planets, we'll have another chance at an Arctic planet, right? Sounds good to me. Here we are, at the LeninCon system. Whoa, look at this fleet in front of the space station. Look at all the recruitable frigates. Okay, hold on. Oh, those are all science vessels, though. No, 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 no. Let's not... Ooh, what? You look like you might be an Arctic planet. Yes. Frost crystal and dioxide. We need a lot of frost crystal. A forsaken planet. Mmm. I'm guessing this one's a hot planet. Uh, no, it's a humid planet. Hmm. Okay. What about this one? Another forsaken planet. And then one more over here. No, that's a forsaken planet. Hold on. Oh, there's one behind this one that we can't see. Uh, very well. Let's go ahead. We'll arrive at the space station. We'll learn a few new words. We'll meet some new... Some new Corvax. Calibrate our translator that Artemis gave us. And then... I think we're going to head on over to that Arctic planet and check it out. Le Lincoln Station Sigma. All right. First things first, we're going to get ourselves an exosuit upgrade. That's right. And unfortunately, I think we have to put this one in technology. I think we have to. We just have to. Wait. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, it has to be recharged. That's that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're still going to need the technology upgrade slot. Thank you. Speaking of, do you have any S-Class modules we would be excited about, maybe? Movement Thermal Protection Module S. Oh, so we have one for sub-zero environments, and one for high temperature environments. I want to buy them both. Even though our base is at a high temp environment, let's buy the sub-zero one because we're about to go there. Now, 
Let's go ahead and install it. Might have made the wrong call. It's okay. Liquid phase convection unit. Charges with dioxide, charges with ammonia, stuff you find on those planets. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. We can always get rid of this nitrogen filter if we need to, uh, but let's see if it's capable of getting enough nanite clusters. Wait. No, wait, we have missions we can turn in. Mm, wrong one. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, no, you're the wrong one too. Well, we need to talk to those guys anyways. The Unstable Loop Translator. How is it going to cost that much more money? It's, well, better damage potential and scanner range, uh, I suppose. Before I spent my nanite clusters, I totally should have looked for an S-Class scanner module. Nope. None, though. Well, I suppose the only thing to do is to try to head over here to the Guild Envoy and hand in whatever missions we can. See if they give us some nanites and then potentially upload... Yeah, I'm not able to put down a portable refiner on the space station. They're like, go refine that stuff somewhere else. I would like to hand in urgent commodities for a hundred nanites. Thank you. I suppose we'll be able to come back here fairly easily to get that S-Class module for heat. We could also do like I was thinking and just upload all of our discoveries here. You know? No, none. This one. No. Got a couple. I think we've already uploaded most of these, though. Oh, no, no, there's some there. Yep, and there. I think we have officially exhausted all of our options for upload. Ooh, we have 446 nanite clusters, though. That might be enough. It would be really nice if we can get the S-Class protection for heat, cold, and toxic. And the only one we'll be missing is radiation. I think we're very, very close. I don't know if it's going to be... It is. Yes. Thank you. Oh. I love it. Let's go ahead and we'll get rid of this nitrogen filter. Because I'm not super worried about that. And we'll install this right here. Infrared atmosphere regulator. Recharges with phosphorus. Perfect. So two ion batteries will give it 75%. Might as well. Okay. Not a huge deal. And then we can put the radiation one there. That's good. Well, I suppose before we go to the Arctic planet and start harvesting frost crystal, we should spend some time learning some new words so that we can calculate or calibrate Artemis's universal translator. 
Let's do that. Echo Analyst Entity to you. Oh, I know so many Corvax words and... No. No, they're not happy with me. How about you, Physicist Entity It Valist? As I approach the Corvax, I become aware of a small device in their hands. They are discreetly but unmistakably pointing it towards me, moving its flashing lights and sensors up and down my suit. Eh, submit. The data pleases them. Okay, so will you talk to me now? Well, no, so you're just going to do the same thing over and over again. Fair enough. Chief Scientist Entity Bedyon Spawn. No, I'll leave quietly. None of these Corvax want to uh, help me learn their language. Fascinating Intelligence Traveler. Uh, there are some words in between. I might have inferred a bit much with that. And the electronic life form looks up at me with interest. I can't help but feel that countless analytical systems are recording and studying every move that I make. I would like dialect help. Teach me a word of their language. Corvax word for respect. How about you, analyst entity Nojelski? You too would offer me dialect help, and I appreciate it. Corvax word for excitement. Will you take the... Oh, no. So it seems like if I don't give them the Corvax casing first, I lose the ability to. And they don't even want the they don't even want the casing. They want a convergence cube. How about dialect help, please? Corvax word for worship. A multitude of processes appear to be working within the electronic life form. <laughs> There's a very simple and an elegant one though, and it's trying to talk to me. Corvax word for oxide. Uh, you will take a Corvax casing. Excellent. Accept my gift with gratitude. Target life form detected. So, wait. Does that mean... Life forms in this system should be able to analyze Artemis's chart and pinpoint your location. No, I don't. Everybody wants me to do so much. So many quests. So many. Lights in the electronic life forms mask casing seem to constrict. I would like dialect help, please. Corvax word for weaponry. How about you? I would also like dialect help. Corvax word for remove. You know what? Let's check the universal trade post here. The galactic trade terminal and see if we can buy some drop pod coordinate data because I would really like that. Magno gold. Buy some ion batteries. I'm good with that. Ooh, we can buy some residual goop. Let's let's do that. Uh, see, I don't. No, I don't think we need to hold on to that. I was just, I just wanted to top off this stack into 500. And when we get a larger refiner, we'll be able to process that in the nanites. That'll help. We don't need the star bulb. We can get more of that when we go back home, which we will be doing eventually. This one carbon crystal. And I can't even use it to recharge my mining beam. 
unstable plasma recharges that. How do I... I can't even craft unstable plasma. Well, I might want to buy some to have some on hand, then. We'll buy five of those. Oh, I know. We can sell the vortex cubes. Yes, we can. There you go. That'll work for now. Let's go get some frost crystals. I can't wait to put some windows on our base. Signal detected anomaly. No, I don't... I don't really want to do that just yet. I mean, I kind of do, but I... I no. What is this? Guild Mission Remembrance. Craft a heat capacitor. Yeah, can't do that yet. Valuable items sought. Gather paraffinium. We can do that when we go back home. And eliminate sentinels. We can do that on the ice base. So let's, yeah. Let's head to our arctic planet here in this system, and we'll hunt down some sentinels while we gather some frost crystal. Well, maybe not fly right into the asteroid field. Oh, this nebula is really weird with this orange and blue. Let's get a little bit of distance away from everything. So we can see where everything is, shall we? Aha! Uh -huh. I believe that was it, wasn't it? It is. The Arctic planet. Onward. It's got silver and dioxide and frost crystals. I don't really think we need the silver. But I know we're going to need quite a few frost crystals. You know what? Let's change our directory. Ooh. Don't come out of a pulse jump in the middle of an asteroid field. I want to land on the day side of the planet. I just don't want it to be nighttime. I want to be able to see the majesty of the planet as we come in to land. Oof, we're going to need to refuel. Good thing we got all that pyrite. Looks like there's a heck of an atmosphere, a lot of clouds. Now it says it's an Arctic planet. So that could mean very extreme cold temperatures. Although we did buy ourselves the the extra shield. Ooh. Incoming blizzard detected. Oh, we're just flying right into a blizzard. Oh, I love it. Pull up, pull up. Hmm. It's so cold. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Let's find a good place to settle down. The terrain's sort of all over the place here. All right. I think we can safely settle here. What does that say? Extreme temperature minus 100 Celsius. Oh, but look, there's a critter out there. Are you going to be friendly or a slow grazer? 
Oop, another critter. Seeks company. Another one. Timid. Oh, our shield is keeping us perfectly prepared from the blizzard. Although I imagine if I check, it's actually going down at a good rate. No, not too bad. Storm's clearing finally. Oh, this is just seems like a very inhospitable type of snow planet. It's, it's very cold and rocky and there's all sorts of life forms that give me the impression they're they're rough and tumble. It says they're timid, but three out of 13 species discovered. And you got these weird megalith structures. Unknown building, frost wart, buried technology, frost wart, and an alien artifact. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's head this way. And the sun's going down. It's a very quick day-night cycle. I mean you no harm, creatures. I mean you no harm. Ooh. There's some frost wart. No, we're going to keep going this direction. This direction has more of the stuff we want. More creatures. Dioxite deposit. I wonder if some of these rocks have dioxide in them. Ferrite dust and salt. Ferrite dust and dioxide. See, that's actually what we're looking for, because we're going to need more ferrite dust to make yet another... Um... Antimatter housing. So we might as well grab a little bit of dioxide along the way to keep our shields recharged. I think that's as good a time as any to wrap up uh, episode 44. To be perfectly honest. Ooh, that didn't take much at all to recharge it. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. If you want to help out the channel, you can absolutely drop a like if you have had a good time watching. And if you subscribe and ring the bell, you can help make sure that I will be able to see you next time. But until next time, take care.